Hello and welcome everyone, our heart here with part 6 of my 8 Princes Let's Play with Simi Yong, Total War 3 Kingdoms. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming. So picking things up where we left them last time, Sima Lun is marching on our farmland at Anping. So we'll probably end up losing that uh, during the end turn phase. We might fight it with the garrison, we'll see what the... Uh, balance of power looks like we could recruit someone in um a character to try and help hold it but i think that would just be a waste of a character to be honest because uh I, I don't think we can hold similar off at the farmland what i'm going to do with sima yong though is actually go towards this city i was thinking of going for the farmland just taking all the territory behind similar but actually i'm going to make sort of a beeline towards him and we'll grab this city on our way through but I'm going to stay within my own territory for this turn so that we get some replenishment. So we'll jump into Ambush Dance. Depending on where Simulun goes next and how many casualties he takes in the battle for the farmland, be it a manual fight or an order resolve, I might have to bring Shang Fan back to the city. But for now, I'm going to leave him in Ambush so hopefully that we can catch uh, Simu Yong um, out when he starts marching. Hopefully you won't see our Ambush. As for this army of oh, Sima Jong moving on up, the fishing port should hold them back quite nicely. Our large town might be in a bit of trouble. So rather than bringing our strategies over to uh, die our large town here to upgrade it at reduced cost, I think I'm going to force march her back so that she's in there. We can always then recruit units in next turn. I'm actually wondering, will she give um, a reduction? Oh no, instant construction doesn't get the uh, cost reduction. However, if we do that we should be able to chuck in the patrols straight away we won't um instant construct them though but yeah at least we can get them in now that garrison's all right plus it will grab the patrols in which gives four more units so that's decent uh i don't think there's anywhere else where we can build anything this turn so let's end it Similar straight in for the farmland. It's a decisive defeat. I only outnumbers us by 400. Assuming the map's open field, though. You know what? I think we will fight it, though, just, just to see. Normally, I don't tend to do that well in these battles when it's an open farmland. If we'd had towers, then we could definitely... Well, I don't know, definitely, but we would have been way more confident. They actually do have a lot of missile troops. They've got six archers total. Yeah, that's not going to be fun. And I've got no cavalry. So yeah, maybe we probably will take heavy casualties, but maybe we can just inflict a few more. Um, annoyingly, there's nowhere really good to form up here. Um, They've got the more sort of defensible side of the map. Might be good to use that line of trees there, because there's not even any buildings that I can lock my troops in. So, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a slaughter. Shuffle forward and go to there. I need to get my head uh, on properly because I fell back into my cavalry wrecking ways last episode. Clearly going on holiday and made me forget all the wise teachings and lessons that I'd learned on how not to get my cavalry slaughtered, aka just charging them into spears all the time. And I was I was getting better. I was getting better before my holiday. <laughs> I've kind of lost all that progress. Bring you guys up here so we can kind of funnel them in. And their cavalry's gonna try and swing on around. I, mean, I kind of wonder if there's any point shooting the enemy archers down. I could be shooting down cavalry and infantry, but I guess it's worth doing a little bit. It's desperate to flank me right now. Yeah, charge these guys. That does work quite well at forcing them into a... Uh, loose spacing. That surprise attack, though, is going to ruin us. 
So yeah, take out those archers if you can. Oh, the line. Comes that cavalry. They are going to try and flank on round. You pull that unit to protect the rear. Ooh. No, okay, go into those guys. Stop their charge. Guys, though, hitting my cavalry. Uh, my cavalry, their cavalry hitting my spears from multiple sides. Not so good. Keep firing. We can take out some of their archers, maybe. I was hoping we could maybe take out some of their cavalry. Do a decent amount of damage. They might be able to with the archers here. Get a volley or five off. Be pretty devastating. Enable me to defend a bit better. Wherever they decide to attack next. Those archers are being pushed back. Now they've gone. Yeah, death is coming. How many have they lost? Apparently a thousand. Really? Are they at full strength? Before the start of this? I'm not so sure. Alright, we can triple speed it now. Well, uh, we, we've caused some casualties. Yeah, even, even recruiting another... Uh, well, recruiting a character into this army wouldn't have saved us. A decent number of kills for the archers, actually. Yeah, they did well. Well done, archers. Our archers got 304. That's nasty. They are going to start. Actually, yeah, that's a thousand. Not bad. He takes that. Ah, some of Jong manages to get past, but I can move to attack him. They've pulled over there. Right, well, at least Sima Jong's going that way because it means I can move up, take him out, and then move on Sima Lun. You're going to give me that much money for 10 turns. Oh, so much song. Um, you are at war with some way. But wow, that is a very tasty deal. And the stalwart defender appreciates a good deal. So where are you? You're down here. That's all of his territory there. Uh, some way you can keep going up. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I wasn't helping out anyway. Um, consequences. I not say it's going to have anything bad with some way. We'll, we'll take a look at him in the diplomacy there when we get back to our turn. Mass mobilization. Good, good. Sensitive information. Exploit the information. Plus five mind. Spirit. And respect the retainer's wishes. Give a song. Satisfaction. Uh, spirit alignment. Oh, we'll actually get, we'll go up the next level, which will give us more prestige, more diplomatic, more diplomatic relations with all factions, and some morale faction-wide. Otherwise, it's mind, which we haven't even got the first level of. We, the extra research is really nice, and we'll get subtle. Which is for spying, which I just, I feel they need to, see, they need to overhaul the spy system a little bit. I kind of, I like the direction where they're going with it, but it's not impactful enough. Whereas obviously having an agent on the campaign map in previous Total Wars was very kind of straightforward and instant impact sort of thing. I feel like they're kind of halfway there, but it needs to be refined a bit more, the current spying system perhaps. Um, respect their wishes is what we'll go for. Which means we now get that. So what's the next one you get? Plus 10% corruption, really? But if you get it to the maximum level, it has no negative modifier. Wow, okay. Interesting. Buildings, we got the patrols. So their garrison. Yeah, now pretty decent Ooh. if they come on land. We could still give us some units if we want to. We've nearly got enough money for another army, but well, we've got support from nobility. We've got the... How many trade deals have we got? That's what I really wish you could see, like, instantly, like, the number of deals you've got. In fact, I can sort of see where we get our income from that if we go here and go to diplomacy. 896. And that shows you the amount. It would just be nice if that was on the diplomacy menu, personally. Okay, so that's not too too bad. We definitely can afford another army in a similar way. 
Sign peace with our enemies. Only minus two, so that is totally fine. Uh, yeah, you, quite a lot of you were saying I should try and play this Let's Play more with vassals and what have you and really use the Yellow River as a border. I would I would be very happy just to grab everything that's north, or in this case, east of the Yellow River when it curves up north. Um, it's just obviously then finding a faction that I can make my vassals that I could then, if I was going through and conquering Simajong's territory, to then trade all those regions too to give them away. Um... Because obviously we are the stalwart defender. It would be nice to play us a little bit more defensively. But we can only we can only do so much if the AI doesn't kind of react a certain way. Uh, obviously it does get pretty dull if every campaign I do just turns into a full domination spree. So yeah, I would I would like to try and embrace uh, a you know slightly different playstyle. So any tactics advice on how I can go about that with this series, guys? You know, feel free to to weigh in. Because um, I, I would like to to play this one a little bit differently. Because otherwise it will feel a bit samey. Yeah, right. Someone's over there. We're not full strength with our cavalry, but that's okay. Can I reach the city? Just. Woo! The Pyrrhic victory. So we'll need to fight it. We've got the Trebs. That's all right. And I know a way in. Ooh, interesting. It's a different map. Did they add in more battle maps with um, eight princes? Anyone know? Or is this just a settlement that I've never fought over before personally to see the map? To see the map, rather. Obviously, we're still on the Chinese uh, voiceover. I'm going to keep that probably until part 10. And then part 10, I'll either flip back to English or I'll stick with Chinese. I'll try and make, make my decision. To be fair, this is, it's going to be a really tough call because you guys are making some really good points for, you know, keeping it Chinese for the immersion and kind of sounds better. But a lot of you are obviously making good counterpoints saying, well, you can understand it if it's in English a bit better. Um... So I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know which I'm going to go with. I, would, I wouldn't I would mind going back to English just so this one's a little bit different from my other campaigns. But I will agree. The reason why I went with Chinese subtitle, not subtitles, Chinese voiceover audio from my first campaign, my first Let's Play, was uh, because I thought that would be way more immersive. And I've, I've enjoyed the Chinese voiceover. Sure. Uh, we can actually go forward, can't we? Where's that tower to? Oh, that's not good. We don't have flaming shot, do we? Hmm. Makes that tower a bit annoying. So we're gonna have to rush towards it. Thank you. This isn't my my Sun Jian campaign where I've got the uh, got the process of uh, sieging down settlements down to a, a T, really, down to a precise action. So we could try and hit that tower with the treb. Archers. Mm. Might have to send the archers forward in loose formation. Let them take the hit so that we can then rush forward with my infantry. Loose formation is probably going to be better for them to go towards that tower. Or, or we send my character forward because towers took a massive nerf with the patch that came alongside this update. So, I can probably afford to have my characters right out in front and shouldn't take too much damage we'll see we'll, we'll test things how do you guys feel about the towers now in the game personally i feel like they need to at the minimum, put them halfway in between what they are now and where they were before. Oh, wow, that's a good hit. Keep hitting that tower, though. Yeah, I personally, I feel like they need to increase their damage to somewhere between what they are now and what they were originally. Because they're just way too weak now. And towers made defensive... Well, just made sieges a lot tougher. And now they're a lot easier. Which, I don't think anyone wants things made easier. Um, I'd almost go as far to say, nah, put the towers back to where they were originally. Like, don't even half strength them. That's taken a fair few hits. Get up those walls. Because now you can just sit your characters out in front of towers and, yeah, 
I mean, I don't mind if... I think what they really need to do to really make it optimal is have different kind of damage values against heroes, single entity units versus full groups of units. Can't just push forward. That tower's now down. I don't think we can really do much damage, so just try and crack that fort wall open. I can charge all my cavalry in. Axes. Get up there. Axe man suffered. In you go. Go, Cav, go. That fort wall is now down. Go, go, go. Don't think they're super brace, so we should be all right. Yeah, slamming into them. Cavalry go for these archers. Just need to see him break. to break that one they've got a unit of infantry back at the main square might break though Go. Yeah, that'll break him. Bring it on rounds. Take down that captain. It's probably going to break as we charge. Miyong in. Yeah, there we go. There's the victory. See his first charge in. Oh, massive charge. Lovely stuff. I think we took too many casualties, considering. We didn't have, like, flaming shots to take down those towers. We just have the one treb. Oh, 
478. Pretty decent. Uh, occupied. And promote. You guys all saying I should maybe consider actually holding on to some of these guys because especially champions and sentinels, they make really good administrators later on. So, yeah. I actually, if we get some money, I'm, I'm going to get you. You. Where's he come from? Die. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll. Oh, can't I? I can recruit him. Right, I was just on that screen before. Yeah, let, let's recruit him. Love your name. Got the unyielding scale mail. You're limbering. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, we'll keep you. We are low on food now, though. Food from peasantry. That's because we've lost that farmland over there. We can grab that one. Gained a rank. What are we going for? We were going for uh, Binding Fury, weren't we? Yeah, because it was going to make him just a machine in jewels. Yes, 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 yes. And after this, I guess Tenacity of Steel, even more. A crazy good duelist. Right. Oh, they're in Force March as well, so you're going to be tired. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if our armies can best there. They should be able to. I don't know how Sima Jong is. Combat, he's got dual axes. Let's try and uh, chop him down. The Pyrrhic victory. Oh, we get the garrison as well. Oh, lovely. That's nice. That helps for sure. Pretty open field. In we go. My reinforcements are coming in from behind. Fair enough. Uh, I think they've got cavalry in that, so... Actually, not too bad. Oh, wow. We can actually... Hmm. I could actually have all this cavalry here ready to charge straight into theirs. I think that would be a bad idea, though. And they've got their sword guard. They've got mounted archers. And they've got a uh, Wang Bao champion. I have the rest. I have all of these guys up here, though. Oh, I'm so tempted, actually. Fire on them straight away. And just charge straight into them. I can have all my archers and my, my trebs there straight away. All of them in range from the start. That's way too, way too tempting to not. Fortunately, we can't have all my heroes up there. And not all the cavalry. So that might cause some issues. We got flaming shot. Cavalry to do all those archers. Bring this cavalry round to the same. Not sure if we'll win that one. Cavalry pull back. Oh, 
Yeah, it's going in his favor. He's got a lot more health. He might have to run from that, I think. Got flaming shot, which is uh, causing some issues. Oh, and they've just broken through in the center a bit. Oh, he's broken my champion. That's not good. Okay, run away. Reinforcements coming, we should still win this. The characters are very strong. Probably deploying so far forward. Wasn't the best idea I've ever had. Crossbows. That's that one gone. Going for us those crossbows. Definitely decline that. Going back in, Spears. This is pretty frantic. When are we down? Half our force. They are struggling. Cavalry. That's our strength at the moment. It's cavalry charging on into the infantry. Struggling. Yeah, 
God, we would have been screwed if we didn't have the garrison troops. That's it. They've oh, got guardsmen, that's probably why they're hammering me about a bit. That's all them gone. Cavalry together. Back towards my archers. Chalfley got left. This guy's broke on the charge. Taken out. Their champion. Bow. He's now. Yeah, those swarm upset. Because he's lost his buddy. Decline. Reform all the cav over there, please. Is over here. God, look at the, look at the carnage. Oh, wisdom of the river. Uh, it's pretty devastating. You see, it's just constantly whacking away. 4.8k. All my oath swarm. Damage is disgusting. There's my units breaking. Still in my favor. All my cavalry, though, is just getting broken and wrecked here. He's just chasing after them, and I can't get away from him. That's it, Cav. Power on through off of the spear guard. I hope that he can't clutch it, though. Hoping not. I'm hoping once the rest of his army's broken, gone. We should really take out that strategist, though. He doesn't know the wisdom of the river. I'm pretty worried. Right, he's now wavering. The Jong is now taking some fairly decent damage. He's wavering as well. Good. All right, we've got this. Just need that one to break. So the Jong's gone. Right, we can't. We can't catch him to kill him off right now if you weakened claim victory that really was a pyrrhic victory god damn that was brutal really get to use my cavalry to maximum potential because we have them all bunched up oh yeah those guardsmen 500 kills nearly and pushed him back he lost 2721 They've got 201 remaining, though, so that's that's all right. Um, the income's all right. We're doing pretty well on that, so I'll take any replenishment I can get right now. Can we hunt him down? 
Can't reach him this turn. Okay. What have we gained? Yeah, did we gain anyone else then? I don't think we did. Maybe. You've leveled up. Um, we want to go this way for fire arrows with some of the river. So long abundance, please. That's right there, because at least you can cut off Simulun. Oh, really? I couldn't go. Quite annoying. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um... Upgrade something that's here. Upgrade the patrols. It'll get weaker. The thing is, they might go try and go around me. They're all with the Jin Empire as well, actually. Let's have a little looky. That's the Alliance War against me. Right, no, so they shouldn't go off the Jin Empire. That's all right. Uh, I need a way of getting more food, actually. So I don't really want to upgrade a town. I need food upgrade. Food, 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 food. I mean, we could actually probably afford to put our taxes up for a turn because everywhere is happy that we have. So let's do that. That'll sweat our food. Oh, no, it won't. What about if I do that? Force it through. Minus one, won't it? Uh, I don't have the buildings to the other stuff. That's quite frustrating, actually. Minus one. It shouldn't be a big deal, though, because we should be able to reclaim stuff. So we wait. Can't upgrade that until we've got more reforms. What do you want to go for next? That gives me mustering turn reduction, because I can cost replenishment for garrisons. Experience. It was that one we wanted to go down for industry income, wasn't it? So, oh, food production as well. That will actually help things. So, yeah, let's go for that. Uh, we, we could jack up the taxes probably even further then. For a single turn, it's not going to be too diabolical. So, let's just do that. We kind of get the money that we spent just forcing that through quickly. Chuck that in there to build. I mean, I could recruit some units here in case they start running around me. Grab a couple of archers just in case. All right. The other thing you guys were actually saying is that I should look to see how much it would cost to get territory from the Jin Empire. Um. So... I don't... These ones to grab first, I guess. Although we probably don't want to trade anything right now because the AI might just move in and take it and then we'd lose out on it anyway. Um, let's see. So, say the... Say ye farmland. How much is that worth them? Because you guys are saying that if I trade lots of my ancillaries and stuff, I'll probably be pretty eager for all that. Don't have a crazy amount of stuff at the moment. That's the only thing. Food production, administrative commandery. Okay. Um, look at who my administrator is, actually. That one. Forest skin. Seven. Mm, okay, it was definitely doable. I think we might have to just do it with money. But we'll we'll keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, who is my administrator? It's not what I wanted. I wanted you. And... You have got... Oh, yeah. Income from industry. Yeah, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. How close are we to the next level? 216 out of 300. Okay. All right. Let's do one more in turn. And then I think we'll wrap things up for today. Oh, he's just gone and sat there. He's eating camp. He is. Your bugger. We've got Trebs, though. Don't have Flaming Shot, though. And it's going to be a long time before we do get it. Frustrating. We might be able to order his of it, though. Oh, similarly, Ang. Vassalized. Bian Bing. Okay. Well, that's two similar, two different similar ways. It's become apparent now that someone of your ambition cannot idly remain loyal to the Emperor. The Empress, however, knows of your desires 
and is plotting to stop your continued acquisition of power. Um, strike first. War declared between Simajong and the... Or refuse strike first. Enemy of the state. Spread rumors that you're a... Rumors spread that you're a traitor. No doubt the emphasis work. Even your friends are wary of being seen with you. What? Oh, I wanted I wanted to remain friendly. I mean we can do refuse to strike first. Get the might alignment if we do strike. Oh, I really wanted to be friendly with them. Minus twenty minus twenty percent isn't bad, and minus fifty diplomatic relations with them also isn't too bad. The thing is I'm still also doing with Sima Lun and Sima Jiong. I'm going to say refuse to strike first. It's it's it that's not fun, but I didn't want to declare war with the Jin Empire. I want to remain on friendly terms, ideally. I want to, I wanted to go for regent. Maybe that's not going to be possible. Faction influence, yeah. Right, it's going to trend negative. But, I mean, we've got trade with them at the moment and we've got military access. So they're quite useful. I mean, we that we want those lands. I mean, I guess I could, you know, have attacked, strike first, and go after them. But right now, I think it's better to deal with the problems that we have. And also, obviously, Sima Lun as well, and Sima Jiong, rather than going after the Jin Empire at the same time. Because if we keep the war going with Sima Jiong, we can go after all this. It just depends if I am going to keep it for myself or find a vassal to give it to. Hmm. Well. Interesting turn of events. So we're now an enemy of the state. Right, well, we'll pick things up here next time. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, and QT. Till the next one, ciao for now.